Today I will show you how to make this crazy synthesizer effect. Yo, it's Povikas here. And real quick guys, I want to announce one thing. I am releasing my glitch presets pack on August 22nd. It's going to be this month's Friday. So it's pretty much like less than two weeks from now on. So I'm really excited to release it. But anyways, let's begin. All right guys, so here I have a clip of one and only's music video of this girl smoking. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've used this music video or some other one and only music videos almost in half of my tutorials. So I'm very sorry for using this so much, but I just really love these type of music videos. Anyways, we got that out of the way. Now we can press Control Y to make a new adjustment layer. And the first Thing you need to do is add an effect from a free plugin which is called Omino and the effect will be Omino Colorizer. Now you 100% should get the Omino plugin because it's 100% free and it's really cool. And I like to go to color here and I like to change it to something to like pink, but I like to change it to pink. You can change it to whatever color you want. I'm adding this just to have like a little bit of a color. It's all up to you. I'm just going to do it pink and let's press okay. And now another effect from the Omino plugin. I like that. And this is pretty much the main Omino effect, I guess you could say. It's Omino Diffusion. And here we can make the error across to like 0.15. And the error side, you can like really mess around here, but I'm going to make it like 0.58. But like you can make it less or more and look you will get this like really cool glitch like a synthesizer glitch so you 100% should definitely mess around a lot of this setting because look how crazy it can actually look uh, another thing what can happen is it can crash that is a really sad thing that happens but it just happens oh yeah also I just noticed this background by the way guys I'm at my grandma's right now so that's why it looks like I'm at my grandma's because I am at my grandma's I don't know if you guys really like this background maybe I should find somewhere different to film you know but yeah let me just load up my after effects real quick and let's get back to making the effect all right so i'm back here it loaded up kind of fast i can't lie and so yeah really make the error side to 0 0.58 but don't mess around too much because you will crash i mean as you saw so i guess don't mess around that much and here i like to actually go to the color count and i like to make it to six now you can see we have more color options but it doesn't look as much of a synthesizer as we want it to look so to fix that little problem we can make the width of the black color to maybe like 32 you know, start to see the synthesizer a bit more. We can go to like the red color. We can make it like five, like pop it out a bit more. The bigger you make it, the more synthesizer it will look. So I'm just recommending five here, but you can make it whatever you want. And actually let's go, let's go to this color and let's make it to 32. Is that like white? Like I forgot how it's called. I forgot like the English word for that. I'm sorry, I'm Lithuanian by the way. So I don't know like all of the words, but damn, how did I forget? Oh yeah. And let's go to wood fifth and let's make it actually like high, like 20. But in wood fifth, you can actually change these colors, by the way. Like these are not the colors that they have to be. So here we can go and make it also like kind of purple. Maybe let's make it like dark purple. Did it just crash again? Yes, it did. Okay, wow, that's very fun. Let's load it back up again. It is crashing so much for me. Really be careful using this plugin because it is free, but I don't know how do they make it so it just like crashes nonstop. Like I don't really understand how they made it like that. Or maybe just my computer is not that good. I don't know. I, I feel like I want to make it a bit more like this. Yeah. Honestly, maybe even darker. Make it whatever you want. I'm just making it like this. I don't really know. And now we can add an effect called Signal. Now this is a plugin, by the way. This is a Signal plugin. So instead of this, you can actually add a free plugin. Plugin, which is called NTCTRS and you will have a pretty similar effect and here you would just need to mess around a bit with these uh, like settings you know you would need to make the composite this like higher and just a couple of settings a bit a bit differently so like chroma phaser you can make it a bit differently and you will have like these crazy color shifts but I'm not gonna do that I'm going to use a paid plugin which is signal but I know a lot of you have it so maybe that's you don't mind it that much and here with signal the only really thing I like to do is I like to go to chroma loss and I like to make it to zero point zero nine okay actually that's not the only thing i like to do one fun thing you can do is make the sharpen like super high like 10 it's it might be a little too high i can't lie but uh yeah you can lower down a little bit if you want oh yeah and also i like to make the uh this to vhs ep to make it pop even more you know we could make the sharpen maybe like eight honestly 10 might have been too much let's go to luma modulation and just turn off tape errors i don't like that like little part there and i also like to make the device to whatever this is to 20. And yeah, that is starting to look really, really cool. You know, we could have made it a bit less, like 15, you know. Honestly, both look really cool. Yeah, maybe we can keep it to 15. I'm just going like whatever, doing whatever, you know. And let's add S to solve 
Luma, which requires the Sapphire plugin. So you don't need to have this, by the way, this effect barely does much. So I'm just adding it for like, to make it a bit cooler, but you really don't need this effect. And here I like to make the dissolve percentage to 40%, the softness to 0.43. And the last effect I like to add here is Deep Glow 2. Oh, actually it's not the last effect. And here we can keep it like this, but I like to make it a bit lower. Like I'll make it to 0.5. I like, I like to make it to 0.5 on the exposure and the radius, I like to make it to 750. Now, if your computer is kind of like ass, you know, like not really good, then you have to be careful with this effect because it's just going to crash. Like seriously, your computer is gonna keep crashing if you add this. So I would recommend to have like at least 16 gigabytes of RAM for this. It requires RAM, you know, like this effect. And the last effect like that is S Flicker, which actually requires the Sapphire plugin. So again, <laughs> sorry for that. And I like to make the amplitude to 0 0.5. This is the look you will start to get. It's like a crazy, actually like a synthesizer look. Just look at that, it's, it looks crazy. And yeah, if you wanna like change around, like make it a bit different, you know, you can always move around these settings, make the error across a bit different. You can make it look like that if you want for some reason like you know you can make it less you can make it more whatever you could have added like different colors do like do anything you want you know it's a really fun thing oh and another thing you can do is like press ctrl a on these effects go to animation save animation preset and save it as whatever you want oh these are actually my glitch presets i'm working on let's go to user presets and here you can call it maybe like sim Synthesizer, uh, and let's add Povicus at the end. Just I'm adding this. You don't have to add that. I just why I remember it. Like I made it because sometimes I do have presets from other people. And now another quick thing I want to show you is I guess the pack that I showed you at the start. I haven't released it or anything. I absolutely cannot wait to release it. And with that pack, you will be able to just add like for example like i don't know like glitch uh one or like the first glitch and we'll instantly start to glitch around like look how crazy it looks on anything i mean i added it on this effect so let's see how this looks here i honestly don't even know how this will look wow yeah so it's going to glitch like this i mean this will be heavy on your pc can't even lie like this is gonna be heavy if you turn off the like the other like you will start to see how this effect actually looks like you know this is just glitch one looks absolutely insane and plenty of more like like all you will need to do is just type glitch and just drop effect so i really made it as easy as i could for you guys but for this pack you will need the signal plugin as i showed and the sapphire plugin but i'm thinking of making a version where instead of signal you will need the free plugin ntc trs so if you're interested in that then please let me know in the comments because i will only make that if actually people want it so let me know if you want it with a free plugin as well but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya